Yo, what's up everybody? Did anyone else watch yesterday's nail-biting race between Emirates Team New Zealand and Luna Rosa? Because we did, and oh my goodness, so stressful. <laughs> yeah, races seven and eight, we were jumping up and down, like yelling in the house while we were watching it. It was yeah. crazy. <laughs> it was going to be a devastating defeat, but somehow flipped around and became an incredible victory for Team New Zealand. So the current score is 5-3 to New Zealand. Yes, which means if we win both races today, the America's Cup might still be the New, New Zealand Cup. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to head over to the America's Cup village and go just soak up the vibe and atmosphere there. But yeah, fingers crossed New Zealand can win this. Supporter gear on, we're ready to go. <laughs> Currently 12.30 and we're heading over to the village right now because apparently at 1 some of the crew start coming up onto the stage so you'll be able to see them. That's just what I read from the America's Cup website so we'll see how that goes. He just found himself a nice comfy bean bag. <laughs> Come on we need to go. <laughs> Those of you guys who are watching this who aren't from New Zealand, we're currently in Auckland and Auckland is also known as the city of sails because of the amount of sailing ships that you're going to see all around out here in the Waitemata Harbour. And uh, currently we're in the Viaduct Basin, you're going to see a lot of restaurants and things like that. This place is really popular with tourists and for locals alike uh, because of the nightlife and the daylife as well because you can get a mean as feed at one of the restaurants but of course they are a little bit on the pricier end because it's uh, more like an upmarket area. Tourists as yeah. Well. That will happen should Emirates Team New Zealand come away uh, doubly victorious. <laughs> What'd you get? I got some wristbands. <laughs> if they should win. just in time to see some of the crew come out and also the boat has come out of the shed which is really exciting not really windy but apparently it's forecasted for the wind to pick back up so hopefully by about four o'clock it should be all good for sailing oh they're craning the mast onto the boat now here at the America's Cup Village, you can also see some of the old Team New Zealand boats. There's one there, and there's the one that won in Bermuda in 2017. So the team is there too. Ten HB, Andy Valone, George Jr., Phil Abroad. Yes, Louis Sinclair, Carlo Wiesman, Marius Van der Poel, Mike Lee, Steven Ferguson, Marcus Hansen, Simon Van der Poel, Finn Henry, Guy and Dean, Joseph Sullivan, Ray Davis, and Peter Berling. Yes! That was super cool there seeing the whole no crew on stage. So There's a little mini game going on right now where kids and some adults are winning prizes for answering questions about the America's Majesty, Cup. So yeah, no this time we are defending ourselves from our last win, which was 7-1 in Bermuda, which is great. Hopefully we can do a repeat maybe. And uh, so we're going to come back in a couple of hours because the races don't start until 4. The boats don't go out until 2, but that leaves us enough time to get some lunch. No second place in the America's Cup. It doesn't Matter. On our way to get food, we uh, stopped by to check out the Lunarosa shed as well, but I feel like a little bit of a spy coming here because <laughs> I got all the New Zealand supporter gear on. Plus we've got the um, anthem blasting in from the background as well, so Good. feel Good proud right now, feel proud. <laughs> Good luck as well to Lunarosa too. Yes, but we Good still luck. New Zealand win. <laughs> Please, New Zealand win. <laughs> and cheese toasty. I just need something really quick because we want to make sure we don't miss the boats going out. We've only got 20 minutes. <laughs> we just have a quick bite. We're in a cafe that is like right next to the Italian base where we'll be having a good view of the boats that leave anyways. Here's the toasty. 
pretty hard to stuff up a you know, ham and cheese toasty, so it's good. <laughs> I got the pulled chicken bat. Looks quite hearty, which is good. Very warm. Let's get it for a bite. Oven roasted chicken, a bit of coleslaw and some mayo. We'll do the trick of filling me up. <laughs> also got some kombucha as well. Who else likes kombucha? I've been on kombucha craze for like yes, the last okay. three years now. <laughs> it's good stuff. But yeah guys, I'm super pumped. Can't wait to see the boats on the water. And then also can't wait for the races to start. So we're gonna polish these up real quick and head back out there. It's about to come out soon. We can see all the spectator boats leaving. And then Team New Zealand will go out as well. You know what? We've seen three or four. Just saw Luna Rosa and Team New Zealand both sail on through. The wind's starting to pick up. The hype is building up. Can't wait for the races to start. Yeah, pretty pumped. This is perfect timing with the anthem. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, so not only do I have these supporter bracelets, but I just got given one of these flags. That's so cool, they're just giving out a lot of stuff to help support Team New Zealand. Yeah! You can drape it around like a cape. <laughs> We've got a 3.30 booking for the simulator that we're going to try out. Apparently it's like a 10 minute experience, but we're just having spectators. Not, not staring, but someone else will do it. <laughs> This is super cool. We are just currently on the uh, simulation yacht. Yen's just uh, behind me over there. <laughs> and we're spectating. Uh, the driver's right behind me. He's over there. Now this thing that we're on, it actually moves. See, like, we're moving right now. <laughs> it's cool because on the screen you can see exactly what the boat is doing. Just like how you see it on TV. The first race is about to start soon. We were at the main centre, but there are so many people, so we're going to try see if we can make our way down to the silo and see if we can get a better spot over there. Don't really want to be standing for like the next couple of hours, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a seat. The crowd has massively built up here at the silo and at the main stage. Let me show you how many people there are here. Jimmy Spill and Francesco Bruni. Yeah, I see you. You'll see you? They'll be taking this one Just over there. Yeah, it is. We found ourselves a nice little patchy grass spot on the side, on the edges, so that we can get a good view of the screen as well. Oh, I can't wait. Fingers crossed. <laughs> race it's been so close New Zealand has been behind most of the time but then they finally caught up right in the final leg and I think they're about to take the finish line I'm gonna get the reaction of the whole crowd for you guys though so let's see how that looks So I guess from that reaction, that race nine, New Zealand has got it. Yeah. Oh. What do you reckon? Oh, so exciting! So New Zealand has just made it to the sixth win. We need one more to go, so that's going to happen in another hour's time. Can't wait. This is so cool. Oh no, guys. So the last race has been abandoned for the day, unfortunately. Yeah, not enough win, and we're closing in on six o'clock which means uh, no more races about to go. Yeah, what a tease though, because we were so close. There's just one more race to go for New Zealand.
going to be able to win. Yeah, it's been such an exciting day and we hope you guys have enjoyed coming down here with us and getting some of the vibe here in America's Cup Village. We'll find out in the next couple of days who wins the America's Cup. Hopefully it will still be New Zealand's yeah, Cup. Yeah, definitely. Let's see how it goes. Brand new day and we're just sitting in some Auckland traffic right now just trying yeah. to get to the races. We left an hour and 15 minutes early. Yeah, we definitely don't want to miss today in case it is the final day of the race because if New Zealand gets that last final win, the America's Cup will be ours again. <laughs> village again and it is even more packed than it was yesterday because of the anticipation with the potentially winning the America's Cup today. Man it is packed and pumping today. It really is. Looks like the main stage is already full so we're heading over to the silo. Lucky for us the race was delayed by a couple of minutes. We had to make a massive roundabout loop because they closed the main stage and so we don't have a direct path. But as you can see, this silo area is packed. It feels like there's three times the amount of people that were here yesterday. I don't know where all these extra fans came from, you know what I mean? But, uh, They're all just taking some time off. Yeah, but uh, we're going to try and find ourselves like a little nook or cranny where we can see the screen, hopefully. We just crossed the 50% mark. It's and about a 310 meter lead. Nice. meeting you both and uh, you know what we say at the end of the video like and subscribe <laughs> we'll catch you guys next time